Hi, this is Allie Becker, creator of Kayla Christian Fitness, coming to you with a brand new workout with all of our March movements for our Kayla Fit Fam Challenge. And we're doing it a little different this time. So you're gonna see some of the movements ahead. We're gonna do three rounds of six exercises, actually five exercises, but one is on two sides. We're gonna work your whole body, your core, your heart through cardio and give you some functional fitness. If you're new to Kaola, you'll find out we're based off of 1 Timothy 4.8, which says physical training is good, but spiritual training is better, providing benefits in both this life and life to come. We believe that wholeheartedly, that your spiritual training, your walk in Christ, your pursuit of the kingdom of God has an impact on this world, on the here and now. So you'll be uniquely ministered to hearing the gospel throughout the movement. Every position name proclaims your new identity in Christ so that you can know who you are in Christ and walk confidently in it, free from condemnation, ready to just powerfully bring his kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven. So we're gonna do 45 second work with 15 second rest, three rounds so that your body can get used to it. We can also really minister to your soul and saturate you with the truth of the word of God. And we're gonna give you a break between the second and third rounds, just a little extra break. I hope you enjoy it. Be blessed in spirit, soul, and body. All right, let's begin by setting our posture and our focus. So bringing the feet about hip distance apart, coming into Mount Zion position, actively grounding all of the edges of the feet into the floor, bringing those toes up, dropping them one toe at a time, starting with that baby toe, ending up at the big toe, so you have bright wide toes, continuing to strengthen up your body by tightening the muscles in the legs, tucking the pelvis under, so you want it in a strong neutral, so not too overly tucked, but you don't want any um, tilt going backwards with that booty either. So just a really firm tuck, continuing to lift and create lots of length from the spine all the way through to the crown of the head and feeling like I'm taking an 80s ponytail or an Ariana Grande ponytail, lifting it up and back into the wall behind you. Rolling those shoulders up and down, taking this time in Mount Zion just to breathe. So inhaling up, exhaling down, we're gonna close our eyes and again, just set our focus, prepare our bodies and hearts and souls. The Holy Spirit is a gift to all those who believe in Jesus Christ, an internal light to guide us. Galatians 5, and 23 states that the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Taking a moment now to choose one of those fruits as a focus of your workout. Allowing God to work in your heart, helping you to grow stronger in Christ and in that fruit. Good job, just a few more deep breaths here. Breathing into the belly again, remembering that length through the spine, opening your eyes. We're gonna to continue to warm up the shoulders by coming into generous position. So bringing those hands out in front of you. On an inhale, drawing the arms and shoulder blades down the back. Exhaling, pressing out with the hands. Inhaling down and together. Now, I don't have shoes on. We're gonna do these intervals. And if you wanna put shoes on, you're welcome to do that. And I'll cue you when to take them off when we're done and we're ready to start stretching and balancing. And just a few more of these and then we're gonna add the legs into it. There's a lot of benefits to barefoot exercise, but again, just might be too much impact on your feet or your body. So whatever's comfortable with you, just listen to your body today. One more, coming back, exhaling out in generous. Good, now we're gonna add the legs, sinking down into seated with Christ, exhaling up. So this is where it gets a little bit trickier with that Mount Zion, keeping that length through the spine, that belly firm and zipped up, focusing on that fruit of the spirit. We're just warming up the large muscle groups right now, preparing you for the intervals and the workout. Good job, just a few more like this. Keeping that length through the spine, thinking that beautiful Ariana Grande, lengthening that neck up and back, the whole spine up and back. One more, good job releasing, stepping out with the toes into protected position. Toes at a 45 degree angle, you're gonna sink into those legs, being mindful of the knees, pressing them to the wall behind you, and then keeping that length as you exhale through the thighs. And we're gonna add the arms to this as well. Down and up, inhaling and exhaling. Exhaling as you press up through those legs, inhaling as you scoop 
with the arms. Just thanking God for this time today, the ability to do this, praising him that he is good. And he has given you all of these gifts freely through the work of Jesus. One more. Great job. All right, get your water handy. You're gonna need a weight as well nearby. And let's start those intervals. Great, beginning at the front of your mat, we're coming to burpees. So sinking into those legs, hopping back, you can come down and do a push up or not hopping up and then jumping up. So moving at your ability level. If you're not jumping today, let me show you on the next one. So you can sink down, step back, down and do a push up, up, and then step up. And you'll see that I can hop on my knees as well with this. And that helps, you can switch legs as you come up, but really challenging yourself. Again, keeping that length through the spine. One more, jump up, great job. Now we're gonna come onto our booties for the next interval. Working the core in just a few more seconds in established position. We're gonna run through these, really go through mechanics. Let's go. So starting, keeping length through the spine and just holding back at an angle. That's gonna already start working those legs. And if you want, start op opposite leg, one and then the other. And if this is comfortable, you're gonna lengthen up and hold. If this is comfortable, release. If this is comfortable, hold. So I want you to remember all of these options, picking the one that's best for you, but challenging yourself as well. You don't want any pain in your back, but you are gonna feel it in your core. We're gonna add a flow with this next, on the next interval, holding, lengthening through the spine. A couple more seconds. Great job releasing. You're gonna need your weight. For the next, we're coming into a twisted version of Seated with Christ, and I'm gonna cue you to switch sides halfway through. So again, really working on focusing on the mechanics, that length, let's go. So coming down across the left side of your body, exhaling over the right side, you're gonna see me release that left leg and hinge it over. So again, keeping that length through the spine, you're sinking into the heels, the booty, focusing on that fruit of the spirit, should almost be able to lift your toes. One more, and now we're gonna switch sides. So coming and sinking to the other side, exhaling up, inhaling down, exhaling as you powerfully press through, focusing on that fruit of the spirit, sinking into that booty, those heels, keeping legs through the spine and remembering to unlock that leg as you twist over, you're doing so good. Great job releasing. We're gonna come onto the ground again for this next one for refined position. Can double up the mat under the knee if you need to, if you need a little bit of extra cushion underneath. So bringing your left toe out, left leg straight out, your right hand comes to the floor, this is your ground. You're gonna lengthen up that left leg and we're gonna kick to the front, one, two, back, one, two. So I want stability in your hips and your core. Focus on that fruit of the spirit. One more set of kicks. Great job and now we're gonna do circles, small circles the size of a basketball, clockwise. Four, five, six, seven, other direction. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Releasing, ooh, you should feel that booty working. We're gonna switch just directly over to the other side for the next interval. And again, you're just, you'll get more comfortable with the second and third rounds with each of these. So push underneath if you need it. Prepare by bringing that right foot straight out, bringing that left hand to the floor, length through the spine, strong core. This is your ground. You can tuck that toe behind you as you lift that leg, shoulders down the back and away from the ears. You're gonna tuck or kick, one, two, one, two. Kick to the front, one, two, and the back, one, two. Focusing on that fruit of the spirit, keeping length and strength. You're gonna feel it in the outer thighs and that one that's standing, let's do our circles clockwise. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other direction, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good releasing. Like I said, this one that was down was feeling it that time even more. All right, we're gonna come into established position again. This time we're gonna add a twist. So I want you to find one that you're strong in but stable. So either gluing those knees together here or lifting them up. And if it's comfortable, you can go straight with them. You're gonna grab that weight, inhale to the right side, exhale center, inhaling left side, exhaling center, switching, keeping those glued knees glued together. <laughs> I'm like crazy when all of a sudden I've got time constraints. <laughs> Focusing on that fruit of the spirit. Just a few more seconds, holding, challenging yourself, keeping that strength and length through the core, remembering that Mount Zion. You can always bring your legs to the ground and on the next round, I'll show you another option as well with just lifting one leg at a time to challenge yourself more from the ground. Great job releasing. We're gonna get ready to go into that seated with Christ burpee again. Again, challenging yourself, coming down into that push up part way through. You can do this, you're doing so good. Ready? Let's go. Sinking down, jumping back to the ground, forward and up. Focusing on that fruit of the spirit. Thanking God you are seated with Christ in heavenly places, far above all powers and principalities, far above your problems. He knows, he sees the big perspective, praising him for that. So good, just a few more. With being willing to follow him where he is calling you to go, even when it's hard, one more. Down, exhaling up, jump up. Great job. We're gonna sit down and prepare for established doing a flow this time. So this time, if you're comfortable on the ground, I want you to try to come here. If you're comfortable with here, I want you to come up here. Let's go. So starting and established, exhaling, bringing those feet together into healed by grace. Inhaling established, exhaling healed by grace. This gives your body strength, but it's also kind of a dynamic rest and dynamic stretch where you're still strengthening and yet it still kind of lets you get your breath back down. Just praising God that he establishes us in righteousness. You're seated with him, righteous by faith. That's the gift of Jesus. Exhaling forward and just holding for a few seconds here. We're gonna get ready to grab that weight. Good job, standing up. Grabbing that weight, coming back to that seated twist. We're gonna start on your right side this time. Feet hip distance apart, finding that length. And when you're ready, one more second. Let's go, inhaling down, releasing that toe to hinge as you come up, focusing Again, on that fruit of the spirit, finding that length, remembering that length through the spine, through the neck, praising God. You are seated with Christ, even when you feel like things are twisting you in all these different directions, releasing other side. Down on your left, exhaling up over your right. So fix your eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of your faith. He says we're like an athlete. Don't worry about everyone else around you worry about your race look to jesus win the prize great job coming back down we're going to come into that refined position bringing that cush underneath if you need it preparing by bringing your left leg out to the side we're going to do again kicks and circles and then we're going to change it up for the third round finding that this time if you want to intensify you can bring that hand behind the head kick kick to the front and to the back, again, keeping that belly strong and stable, focusing on that fruit of the spirit. One more, great job. Now we're gonna come to circles 10 this time, 10 clockwise, nine, eight, seven, six, length through the spine, five, four, three, strong core, two, one, switching, 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, you're doing so good, four, three, two, one, good, releasing, Whew. stretching that out, preparing for that other side, you just have a few seconds, rest before we hit that other side, so again, keeping that length and that tuck, lower rib cage locked into the pelvis, you're going to get better and better every time you do this, you can try it behind the head this time, kick, kick to the front and to the back, your wrist should be underneath your shoulder, that's just help for your balance, it is not your balance, you're really using your core, Last one, and now 10, clockwise, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good. Other direction, eight, seven, six, five, really slow and controlled, three, two, and one, good. Ooh, we even got a couple extra few seconds break, you can stretch out through that booty a little bit here on each side. You're doing so good. This is long and lean muscles, keeping strength, refined position. We need to grab that weight for that established twitch. Then I'm gonna show you another option. So knees together, inhaling, you can bring that left leg up as you twist to the left side, exhaling center. Opposite, right leg up, twist to the opposite, right side. So you see just alternating legs and that's going to challenge you a little bit more if you want to keep those feet on the floor but again if it's comfortable coming up and just keeping those knees glued together and held up focusing on that fruit of the spirit if you're a rock star bring those legs straight keep them that way try to keep strength through your spine though you want to keep stability i start to lose my stability when i do that so being wise but also challenging yourself a few more. Last one, great job releasing. You can come and grab a little bit of water. You get a 15 second extra break here, and then we'll meet again in the front of the mat for those burpees last time, and we're gonna add an open. All right, so let's go to those burpees. Coming back, jumping back, or stepping back. This time you're gonna open to persevering position on each side as well. Jumping forward and up. I could have hopped there. <laughs> Opening up, this is a lot to kind of focus on and remember, so you can always just continue with the normal one. Down, up. Again, just challenging yourself. This just gives extra work to the side body, mixing it up, giving you a full body workout, focusing on that fruit of the spirit, jumping forward, one more, just back, down, up, jump forward. Great job, we're gonna come to established and that heel to flow again. So I want you again to challenge yourself harder than you normally would because we're not holding established, gluing those knees together, finding the length, Let's go, established, exhaling forward, healed by grace. Inhaling, established, exhaling forward. Thanking God for that rest in Christ. It says it's to those who believe that the message didn't profit the Israelites when they got it. So there continues to be a promised rest for the people of God. It's in Hebrews three and four. And that promised rest comes to those who believe this gospel, that Jesus has paid for our righteousness, that we can't do it. We can't keep and fulfill the law on our own. One more. We need a savior. Great job releasing, grabbing that weight. Last time for this seated twist, we're gonna start on your left side this time. Feet a little bit wider maybe than hip distance apart. In a few more seconds, keeping that length. Focusing on your fruit, let's go. Inhaling down, exhaling powerfully through the legs. Focusing on Jesus again. Thanking him that just like that refined position. He says, consider our trials pure joy. 
So it's building patient endurance, switching sides, down to that right side, exhaling up over the left. And so it doesn't mean that you need to love those trials, but you can consider them joy knowing God is bringing good. He's refining you, refining your faith. Peter says he's burning it off like he burns off gold. Last one. Great job releasing, preparing for that refined position. This time we're gonna do a core exercise. So finding that length first, bringing either both hands behind the head or the hips. We're gonna come down, exhaling up. So I really want you to be mindful of that length through the neck and pulling back on that ponytail here. You wanna keep nice length through the spine and just go only as far as it's comfortable and then come over a little bit farther for a little bit of extra oblique challenge. And then one more like this. Now we're gonna come down, exhaling twist to center, inhaling center, exhaling over. Good, keeping that length again, pressing gently into the hands, focusing on your fruit of the spirit. Doing so good. Exhaling over, hold, 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 hold. Inhaling center, exhaling up. Great job, that was awesome. We're gonna do the same on the other side whittling that core this is one of my favorite moves for the obliques for the core again you can take those hands to the hips being mindful of that length inhaling down exhaling over to keep that long spine strong core in refined our core is in christ so when he gives us those trials it's so that we can stand on jesus and jesus alone we're on Mount Zion, from Sinai, a place of works, to Zion, a place of blessing. This time we're gonna twist, exhaling over, inhaling center, exhaling up. So we make that transfer, and sometimes we wanna go back to our own works and our own strength. Hold, 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 focusing on your fruit. Thanking him that those trials, exhaling up, are bringing us to Jesus, those trials, are refining and just burning off anything that is not standing on Jesus alone. It is just Jesus for our righteousness. Grab that weight, find your place for establish, and then inhaling, exhaling back to center. Inhaling twist, exhaling center. This is the last movement. Then we're gonna do some balance, slow you down with some dynamic stretching, which is also gonna strengthen and tone every muscle in our transitional sun series, Christ's victory over death. So don't go away. We're still gonna work your body and give you some great time with God. 15 more seconds, you're doing so awesome. You can do this. It's working your whole body. Focus on that fruit of the spirit. It's a free gift because of the work of Jesus. You don't have to earn it. One more, great job, woo! You did so awesome. So if you have your shoes on, I need you to go ahead and take your shoes off, get a drink, meet me back on the mat in just a few seconds. All right, meet me back for some balance in the cross. Gratitude to God. I don't know about you guys, but I was sweating after that one. So you did such a great job if you made it through and you get better and better every time you try it. All right, so we're just gonna stretch a little bit, always coming back to the cross at the end of every Kaola class. This is what makes us different from religion, it's about relationship one through the work of Jesus. So standing firmly on your right foot, tapping out with your left toe, lifting this foot as high as you're able to go today, beginning below the knee, working on balance off of the mat, and then working above the knee if it's comfortable, but really avoiding that knee joint. You wanna be mindful of that Mount Zion length, keeping that length through the spine, strong core, that lower rib cage locked into the pelvis as you lengthen up and back and keep that core strong. Woo! <laughs> Even your instructor's wobbly some days. Isn't that awesome? Lifting the arms up, shoulders down, praising God. It's not about us and how wonderful we are here and perfect we are. It's how perfect he was. So praising him for his work, praising him for his perfection for his love, this was not a last minute decision. God had this planned even before the foundation of the world. He knew you would make mistakes. He knew we would all sin. 
and fall short of his glory and be separated from him. So he made this plan even before he created us and he created us anyway. Isn't that wonderful? Releasing other side. You might be different on this side. That's okay. Tapping out with that right toe, lifting this up to where it's comfortable, opening that leg to that side wall, feeling a great stretch as you keep those hips stable, length through the spine. And if it's comfortable, arms up overhead as you hold the cross on this side. Just giving God thanks for his grace. Trusting him that you do stand on Mount Zion, not Sinai. Asking him to help you to walk and be strong in his grace. Just thanking him for all he's done because he loves you. A few more big breaths in here, slowing down your breath. Doing so good. Great job releasing. All right, we're gonna stretch with our transitional sun series representing Christ's victory over death. Inhaling, you're gonna bring that left foot in for a low version of the cross. Inhaling up again, exhaling forward over the legs and dissatisfied, you can bend those knees to bring those fingertips to the floor, working on keeping the back relatively straight and strong. Coming back with that left foot, followed by the right, exhaling, into humbled position, you want a straight line or a V with the body. So releasing that neck tension, just kind of toggling that neck back and forth. You can slowly bend the knee and draw one heel towards the floor and then the other in humbled, tucking that tailbone towards the mat as well, focusing on that fruit of the spirit, just Thanking him for his word, his gospel. James says to humbly accept the word planted in you, that word of Christ, the truth of the gospel, which has the power to save you completely. Sozo you, not just save you to go to heaven, but it's sozo. It means deliverance here from evil. It's healed, wholeness, spirit, soul, and body, holistic health, peace, shalom, peace here on earth as it is in heaven, a peace that only Jesus can give. Good job bringing both heels towards the floor. Inhaling forward, bright finger empowered. You can bring those knees to the floor, down slowly and strengthened, bringing, keeping those elbows into the body, lengthening through the crown of the head as you lift and lengthen, opening the chest and lifting with the back muscles, not the hands, for loved. Great job releasing the spine. Pressing back into the hands, firm belly onto those knees for strengthened and empowered. Exhaling back into humbled, left foot forward, followed by the right, coming all the way back up, seated with Christ. Great job, we're gonna do that again. On the left side, commanding in for the cross. Again, keeping that length and core strength of Mount Zion still, it's not time to release that yet, coming back into humbled on that other right side, feeling that stretch, inhaling forward, empowered, wrists underneath the shoulders. This is Mount Zion against gravity, so lengthening through the spine, dropping onto the knees, elbows into the body as you come down for strengthened, lengthening through the neck. You can even use those hands to kind of pull your spine forward as you lift up again with the back muscles, not the hands, so you should be able to release your hands here and still keep that lift. You'll feel it firing up in the muscles coming down the back, the lat, but also powerfully tucking that tailbone so you shouldn't be feeling pinching in the lower back, but just all the muscles around that spine firing up, pressing back up into empowered and humbled, right foot forward, followed by the left, coming all the way back up seated with Christ. Great job. One more time. Each side, left foot comes in for the cross. This time we're going to come onto the knees as we exhale forward, coming back with that left knee, followed by the right, exhaling into his child position and just holding here for a minute for rest and praise. Big breath in, filling the belly with air and out. Inhaling, filling even the lower back with air, the whole rib cage, feeling the whole rib cage open all the way from the base of the ribs to the top, the sides of the rib cage, focusing on that fruit of the spirit, thanking God, 
He has so owed you, saved you. Now he's your protector, defender, salvation, peace, healer, everything. Jesus is everything you need. So just go to him. He loves you. He has won you back into relationship with Father God. The only way for it to be possible to be restored back to God. And he did it. All because he loves you. He left heaven for you. Great job. One more big breath in here. And out. Good. Coming forward onto those arms for empowered. And he didn't just leave it like that. He empowered you. He gave you the Holy Spirit as well. Down slowly. Strengthen knees or feet. Lengthening through the crown of the head as you lift up for love. That is love. He won you back and then freely gives his spirit so that you can walk out with his love onto this earth. So wonderful. Coming all the way back up. And you are now seated with Christ in heavenly places. Last time, coming in with that right foot for the cross. Just praising him. Spending time receiving all of these gifts he's given trusting him that he will help you down slowly lengthening through the crown of the head straightening the spine pressing back up into empowered and his child coming up onto the knees bringing those knees about hip distance apart i want you to step forward with your right knee into servant of the king so just shifting and hinging forward stretching through that hip flexor and we're going to bring that left arm across the body, stretching through the back of the arm as well. Just focusing on that fruit. Thanking God again for all he's done. Just enjoying this time, starting to relax your muscles after you worked them so hard. Stretching them is also so important. Releasing. And we're going to come to the other side. And coming forward, you can always leave... Those hands to the floor as well, if that's more comfortable. But working on stretching those arms after then, bringing that opposite arm across. Just enjoying this time to slow down your breath, preparing. Spend some time with your Abba Daddy God. That gift, fostering that relationship that Jesus won back for you. Good, releasing. When you come into healed by grace position again, so bringing those feet together, really Pressing the outsides of the back, like the outside back sides of the feet together as you gently allow those knees to drop open. So you're not forcing it, you're just gently allowing them to open. And then just again, very gentle, stretching forward over those legs. You should feel a great stretch in the inner and outer thighs. You worked those as well. Big breath in and out. So my prayer for you today is that you see how much he loves you. And it gives you a willingness to let go of those things that you want, that you know he has something different for you. Great job releasing. And we're going to come down into held by Abba. So just gently rolling onto your back, one vertebrae at a time. I'm going to have you lift your left toe up toward heaven, dropping that ankle on top of the right knee. We're going to draw that right leg gently into the body for held by Abba. On this side, you should feel a great stretch through the glutes. I want you again to be mindful of that length through the spine. So if you find your chin jutting up, just release the stretch a little bit and drop it down toward your chest a little bit more. So I want long length through the back of the spine. You can even kind of just very gently, like 30% pressure, press that base of your skull into the mat, just really relaxing it into the mat. Feeling that stretch, keeping that length through the spine, focusing on your fruit of the spirit. You are held by your Abba Daddy God. Great job releasing. We're going to switch sides there, bringing that right knee on top of the left, right ankle, I'm sorry, on top of the left as you draw them into the body, dropping the shoulders away from the ears, really creating length through your chest here as well. So opening the chest, feeling as if I'm kind of pulling out your shoulders away from your body again just relaxing and now breathing big breath in exhaling releasing any tension through your eyes cheeks jaws releasing the leg bringing those knees to the floor 
bright wide fingers. We're just gonna massage through the scalp a little bit, creating circles up and around the temples, behind the ears, up and down the neck, whichever's comfortable, but just breathing into this big breaths in. And as you exhale, just releasing any tension through the neck, jaw, shoulders, back, spine. Great job releasing, finding a comfortable position for resting. So either knees up and just gently coming in or feet to the ground, whichever is more comfortable for you. But taking this time to spend with your Abba Daddy God, that restored relationship that Jesus won. Spending time here praising him for who he is, for all he's done, sending him any cares or concerns. He cares for you. And just giving him gratitude and actively hearing what he has to say to you. Great job. When you're ready, just drawing your left knee up toward heaven to drop that foot to the floor and then following with your right, raising that left arm over your head, rolling onto that left side and then pressing yourself back up to a seated position. Hope you feel great from that. Stretched, strengthened, got some cardio, good things for your heart. So you so much for taking that time and especially for taking time with God. He paid such a dear price to win that back for you, to have a relationship with him. And it doesn't have to just be when it's quiet like this. He's there in the most chaotic points of your day. So just reach out to him anytime and follow him with everything you got. He's so worth it. The Christ in me sees the Christ in you, the hope of glory. Father God, we just thank you for all that you are and all that you've done. And I ask for everything that everyone prayed for here. We ask for it together in unity in Christ. And we ask for it in the mighty, powerful name, the name above all names, the name of your son, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you again. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you'd like another video like this or what kind of video you'd like to see, I'd love to hear from you. Have a blessed week. Keep the gospel moving through Keola by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, commenting, sharing, connecting with us on social media, subscribing to our email list, or learning about a teacher training to become a Keola instructor yourself by emailing Allie at keolafit.com. You can find all the links below. We hope to hear from you and be blessed.